creepy procedures. Cesarean Section Although still widely used today, previously it was used only as a last resort to save the child as most women passed away after the surgery. It was not until the 19th century that it was considered a possibility to avoid maternal death. Fixing Strabismus Strabismus is when a person's eyes don't naturally line up and fixate on the same point. This creepy procedure was to correct this by turning the eyeball. You can still have this treatment today, but it's now done with anesthetic. This procedure was known as bloodletting. It was believed that whenever a patient would have any sort of discomfort, it could be relieved by letting out the overabundance of blood. The lucky ones were treated with leeches, but when the leeches ran out, the unlucky ones would have one of these lovely devices used on them to get the blood instead. The Tooth Key Are you suffering from a severe toothache? Well, you're in luck because this little device, known as the Tooth Key, can pull just about any tooth out, freeing you from the pain. That's if you're one of the lucky ones. If the device could not pull your tooth out the first time, your tooth would be shattered by the device and then you're in for further surgery. Yikes! This bizarre treatment was known as trepanation, perhaps one of the more older surgeries in this gruesome list. It was used mainly to treat migraines and seizures by drilling holes into the skull to help relieve build-up pressure. It goes without saying that most of the patients died during or after the operation, but there were a lucky few that survived and lived to tell about their horrific ordeal. Tonsillectomy This tool was a brutal way of curing tonsillitis. And no, this isn't the sort of tool used in today's medical practice, so don't panic. Appearing in the 1860s, the tonsil guillotine was a one-size-fits-all. By using the curved blade, it would be pushed into the mouth and scooped out of the infected tonsil tissue from both sides of the throat. The procedure was frequently accompanied by hemorrhaging, and some people were still left with infected tonsil tissue as the blade was not adjustable. This ultimately ended the reign of the tonsil guillotine in the 20th century. Lamb blood transfusion. Dating back to the 17th century, reports suggest it was not uncommon to have the blood of a lamb infused into a patient if, for example, they underwent too much bloodletting. Doctors said the reasoning behind using lamb blood was because Christ is the Lamb of God. Surprisingly, many of the patients seemed fine after the procedure. However, the practice was swiftly ended after deaths started to occur. The Tobacco Smoke Enema Dating back to the early 1700s, this procedure was thought to have been able to resuscitate a victim of drowning by blowing warm tobacco smoke into the person's anus. The practice is thought to have originated from Native American culture to help cure stomach issues. Hot Iron Hemorrhoid Removal Dating back to the 13th century, this brutal procedure was thought to have been able to cure hemorrhoids by burning them off with a hot iron. Ouch! 